Hello internet family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today we are checking out the brand new Osmo Pocket update. This new update offers the option to change between autofocus single and autofocus continuous. The pro mode is now available through the Osmo, which is really exciting. It allows you to change between the decine like color mode and normal. You also can play around with the white balance as well. So you can go from auto, sunny, cloudy, and a few other options through there if you really, really wanted to. Um, but it's actually really easy to navigate on the tiny little touchscreen, which I didn't think it would be. You can then go into the exposure setting and you have a lot of control here. You can play around with the shutter speed and the ISO, or you can just have it set up in the auto mode as well. But it's just really welcome to have these options available on the touchscreen. You can then also, interestingly enough, adjust the microphone sensitivity from low to moderate to high to then auto. This is what DCINI like looks like on the Osmo Pocket. I'm very impressed so far from what I've seen. And they've also improved the face detection, the focus pulsing, so apparently it's better in different situations. And overall the focusing is just significantly better. This is with microphone sensitivity on low. I'm going to swap it to medium and then high and see how it goes with the different modes. The microphone sensitivity is now set to moderate or medium and everything seems to still be running the same. It was very easy to just switch between the two different sensitivities. I'm going to swap it over to high now and see what difference that makes. So this is now the high microphone sensitivity from the Osmo Pocket. I'm still shooting in D cine like and everything is the same. I'm pretty much standing in the same position and everything. I'm not talking really any differently. So this is what the high sensitivity sounds like. I'm also going to set it to auto now and see if that makes any difference. Anyway, internet family, I am really, really happy to see the Osmo Pocket continuing to get updates. It's great that they're still refining the focusing system. It still does have a few hiccups and the face detection occasionally has some hiccups. So I really hope that this update improves it again. I haven't actually seen the footage yet. This is just me checking it out on the screen below the camera. It seems to be a lot better though, a lot more refined, and it seems to have me a lot more in focus, which is fantastic. I'm also really, really excited to see the pro mode now available on this tiny little unit without having to connect it to your phone. Um, and all of the other features that they've added are just really exciting as well. So I can't wait to see what they do in the future with the Osmo Pocket. I do have a few announcements. I did recently start a podcast with my friend called Meta Minds. It's with my friend Eamon from Nomia Media. And we have a weekly podcast. We have some really fun skits. And we also have some some meta moments as well so make sure to check that out i have a link in the description below and i also did release an fpv inspired clothing line or selection i guess you would call it i already have the drone clothing line and it's called flying furious it's designed on the too fast too furious poster uh, my friend joey from robo joey designed this one as he's designed all of the other ones on eye in the sky clothing so make sure to show him some love as well i'll have a link in the description below to that but anyway thank you for having Thank you for having a great day. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for checking out the video. Have a great day and peace out.